<laughs> Back again. Harry Potter up in here. Scar. Oh shit. Glasses. Back on the green ruck. We got a gang of parts we're gonna put on this thing. Um, like we said last time, gonna give it the total FLP update. We have oil cap, ignition cover, gas cap, hefty setbacks, key cover, gas tank risers, nut buster, <laughs> front frame cover. Splitter, side steps, new kickstand, and a new fuel pump bracket, and even some uh, lower frame plugs. What we're gonna do this, it's gonna be a 50 part series. Grab some popcorn, enjoy the show. All right, first thing we're gonna install on this is gonna be our Lusol rails. So if you take a look at these, it's fully machined, front and back, chamfers on both sides. You'll see some of these other things on the market. They just, the back is pretty rough, sharp edges. When you buy this, you're buying the real McCoy. That's why it's called Luso. Luso for luxury. Buying this, you're buying the best. FLP parts, all right? So we're gonna install that by itself. And then after that, we're gonna show you how to install it with the uh, gas tank risers. First thing first, take apart your ruckus. Pretty basic stuff. If you went to school or not, you'd be able to figure this out. And then this is something that you can do all by yourself, or if you have friends, that helps too. Sometimes you need another pair of hands. All right, we got everything off. Uh, just took this off all the way just to kind of take a peek under here. It's not necessary for now, so you leave your gas tank cover on. You're gonna grab your uh, billet rail. This longer end is gonna go to the back, like so. You're gonna grab two of these handy dandy spacers, and then two of these M6 bolts. So easy. All right, so you kind of, we, we put the spacers in with the bolts have the nut in there in the bottom everything kind of rolling freely so you did one side don't button it up yet don't tighten it up all the way go to the other side do the same thing same thing bolts so spacer bam difficulty level of this install level 1000 all right so now that you have both sides in you can start snugging things up one thing to kind of keep in mind is sometimes these covers have this lip under here. So if you over tighten it, you're going to crack the cover. I like to sometimes put some spacers in between the gas tank and the gas tank cover just to kind of compensate some of that air space in there. It just so it gets super solid bite on there. For now, since we're going to take this off again, I'm just going to show you like that. So that's going to be the outcome of that. We'll get, do a little before and after for you, but, but wait, there's more. Now we're going to install these guys. Gas tank risers. What these are gonna do for you, it's gonna lift up your gas tank. If you look down here, it's pretty exposed to the ground, rocks, speed bumps, speed jumps. So what that's gonna do is gonna lift this up just a tad bit, one inch, give you some clearance. So that way you guys can load it up with chicks or beer, food, and without worrying about scraping. All right, so if you're gonna do the two together, do a spell, okay, not included. We're gonna have an auction for that. Dude, it's going to be iconic. We're going to sell it on eBay <laughs> for $900. All right, so now let's go ahead and remove your top cover. I'm going to get these spacers and just lay them under your tank. All right, so once you have uh, your spacers just kind of floating on there, you're going to get your cover, go back on. And then there's going to be a separate option on the website. When you buy your Luso rails, it'll say uh, extended bolts to use with uh, gas tank risers. Same thing as earlier. But now... Kind of have to guide everything through. Boom. So you're going to have the bolt, the Luso rail, spacer, gas tank cover, gas tank riser, and then your frame. And then repeat throughout the rest of this bolts. Bam. All right. So we got spacers on there with the Luso rails. Extra clearance in there. So you can kind of get a really good idea on that. So this, this will be scraping before anything. Now you're not gonna start any fires if you crack your tank or whatever. And the rest I would hope is pretty self-explanatory. Put your nylocks on there, get an impact, run them all the way down, snug them up, good to go. Uh, for video purposes, I'm not gonna do that because I do wanna take that off again uh, so we can install a fuel pump on the next video and even our uh, splitter that's gonna go behind the tank. It's gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget, like, subscribe, or whatever people do. Tell your parents, tell, tell your everyone. kids, tell your friends. FLPparts.com. FLP parts. FLP parts. FLP parts. FLP parts. FLP parts. Oh. FLP parts. FLP parts. FLP. Parts. FLP, parts. FLP, parts. FLP parts.